Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the Chapter A Part A of the course Basics of Programming in C Language. And in this chapter we will learn about the variables in C language. So first of all what is a variable? In simple words a variable is a name given to a location in computer's memory location where a particular value can be stored. We can use variables to store data on which we have to perform some operations. Okay, so if we have to add two numbers, so we can use two variables to store both of these two numbers and also a third variable to store the result of the addition. So A is equal to B plus C. Now we have three variables A, B and C. The type of data that can be stored in a variable is determined by the data type of that variable. So every variable has a data type in C. We have also discussed this in a few chapters prior to this chapter. Okay. So now we will discuss the naming of variables. So this is also very important how you can keep the variable names in C. A variable name can be constructed using any combination of alphabets that can be capital alphabets from A to Z or small alphabets, digits from 0 to 9 and underscores. So no other special characters except for the underscores are allowed in variable names in C language. Some compilers allow a maximum length of a variable name to be up to 247 characters. But as a good practice, we recommend or it is a general recommendation to limit the length of your variable names up to 31 characters. Okay, this shall optimize your code and you will also be able to read it more clearly and moreover the time taken to type the longer variable names will also impact your efficiency. Few more lines of variable naming. A variable name cannot start with a number. So you have to keep in mind that variable name should either start with an alphabet or with an underscore. It cannot start with a number. Okay. And no commas and blanks are allowed in your variable name. So only the special character that is allowed is underscore. No other special symbols are allowed. You cannot use space, commas, tabs, anything else. And you should also avoid using the C keywords, predefined keywords as variable names. Remember that C is a case sensitive language so a variable with capital characters and same name and another variable with same name in small characters will refer to two different variables. They are never the same. So var1 var1 with capital V and var1 with small v refer to two different variables. These are some examples of valid variable names in C. A, B, C. Where one, so you can use number in a variable name, but your variable name should begin with an alphabet or an underscore. So a one v that is also valid, an underscore variable one that is also valid because your variable name can begin with an underscore in C. Very underscore able underscore one that is valid. Where one that is valid, so you can just have a look up, look at them. Now these are some of the invalid variable names. First is 1abc, your variable name can never begin with a number, it has to begin with a letter or an underscore. You cannot use comma or asterisk inside your variable name, you cannot use space inside your variable name, comma, asterisk, space, these are invalid. Now you should avoid using C keywords as variable name, although some compilers may allow you to use keywords as variable names, but you should avoid that. Now, declaration of a variable. So, as we have seen in the definition of the variable, that variable is just a name given to a memory location inside a C program. Okay. So, you have to first tell the compiler that you have to reserve a memory for a variable in your assigned memory. This is done in the statement which is known as variable declaration and it is mandatory 
that before using any variable you have to declare it otherwise a compiler will throw an error it will say that I do not know I do not recognize this variable so you have to declare the variable before using it so the declaration statement should always be before the statement where you are using that variable and although modern C compilers allow you to declare the variables anywhere in your code provided your usage is only after that but it is a good practice to follow the traditional C method that is you always declare a variable at the beginning of a new block so all the variables that are being used inside that particular block should only be declared at the beginning of the block just after the first braces and then the statements other statements should follow something more on the declaration of variables here is the syntax of declaration of a variable in C so in the blue you can see the syntax the first is the data type name we will study more on the data types in the part 2 of this chapter then is a variable name the name we have just discussed how to keep variable names in C so here is an example of declaration statement int means the data type number one is the name of the variable and in the second example cat is the data type and letter one is the name of the variable okay so now we should study what is the scope of a variable and we shall continue on the scope of the variable in our next part of this chapter so thanks for watching edupedia world videos basic of c programming language